Hey guys, it's Lee Labrada, your Lean Body Coach, and we're here in the Labrada Nutrition Gym. Today we're going to be training back and biceps. Follow me. If you don't have one of these, don't worry about it. You can use a standard pull-down machine. But today I'm going to use this Nautilus machine. And essentially what we're going to do is we're going to take the handles. We're going to get into position here on the seat. I'm going to make sure that my back is arched and I'm gonna bring my arms down and back, almost like I'm elbowing the guy behind me. And the important thing is to get a really good contraction in your lats as you come down. Make sure you keep your chest high, make sure you keep your back arched and complete the movement in a nice deliberate fashion, just like I'm doing right here. So this is our warm up. I'm also going to show you on this machine right here, which is a pull-down machine. And essentially, I'd like to use an underhanded grip and about shoulder width, get into position, and then just bring the elbows down and back, keeping the chest high and the back arched. And so what I'm going to do here are low pulley rows and I'm going to basically grip the machine here low and basically pull my elbows back and down keeping a nice high chest and keeping the arch in the back and making sure that I get a really really strong contraction in the lats and the back as I pull back. All right, guys, so we're going to start the shrug movement. I'm going to do this with these dumbbells. Going to take them off the rack, you know, and essentially set them right here, just slightly in front of me. I'm going to keep my head up. I'm going to essentially just bring the shoulders up, the shoulder girdle up into a shrug position, and then I'm going to slowly let it back down. You know, no rotation or any of that stuff. We're just essentially going to be bringing it up and then just lowering it lowering it straight back down into position. All right, let's get started. So uh, this next movement is for the bottom part of the trap or what we like to call the middle of the back. You know, it also hits the rhomboids and such. So uh, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna focus on getting those elbows out and contracting and getting the middle of that back. Okay guys, so this is the last upper middle back exercise, and now we're gonna go train the lower back, the spinal erectors, and we're gonna do that using this hyperextension bench. Okay, so uh, what I've done here is I've adjusted the height on this bench so that it sits right at about where my hips are, and the important thing to do here is to lock the hips, and you, let's just get that, let's get that uh, rotation uh, from the uh, from the back and not from the uh, from the hips. So think of it as curling yourself underneath the bench and then curling yourself and straightening yourself back up. It looks like this. Okay, guys. So what we're going to start our bicep workout with is a concentration curl. And the reason we call it a concentration curl is because you're concentrating all of the stress on one arm at a time. And so what we're going to do is we're going to take our elbow, put it on the inside of your leg against the bench, and we're essentially going to lock the upper arm in place, grab the dumbbell, and then just curl it up. All right, guys, so here we are at the preacher bench, and it's called the preacher bench for obvious reasons. And uh, what I like about this exercise is that it allows me to lock 
my elbows against this bench in place so I don't get a lot of uh, body English like I would if I was doing uh, standard standing barbell curl. So what it does is it really helps to throw the stress on the biceps. And here we go. All right, guys, so we have done the concentration curl, we've done the preacher curl, and now we're going to finish with this exercise, which is the dumbbell hammer curl. I'm going to select these, uh, these weights here. I'm going to sit on the edge of the bench, and I'm literally going to curl this weight up one arm at a time, but with the face of the dumbbell facing upwards. And what that's going to do is it's going to hit my biceps brachialis. And I'm going to do as many as I can on this arm. And then I'm going to go to the other arm. Okay, and I'm going to come back to this arm and try to squeeze out just a few more. And back to this guy, back to the left arm. All right, guys, so that does it for our biceps workout. And that is the finish of our back and biceps day. Now, as you know, you can substitute exercises for the ones that you saw today. This is just an example of what I might do on a typical back and biceps workout. So if you need additional help, make sure that you check out our Lean Body app on the Apple App Store and on Android, available totally free. If you enjoyed this video, make sure that you like, subscribe, and click on that notification bell so that we can let you know next time that we have a great video coming out that can help you. So without further ado, I'm Lee Labrada, your Lean Body Coach, coming at you from the Labrada Nutrition Gym. Thanks for joining us and see you next time.